Hi, this is Michelle at Sweet Pea Farm, and today we're just gonna quickly go over how we do ear tagging. So this guy um, was recently weaned. He already had one dose of CD and T, but we're gonna give him another one sub Q really quick. So that's his second booster, and we just do that at ear tagging. And then you wanna load your numbers in your tagger. This is the all flex tagger we have. USDA sent us these. You put the male part on the sticky out, threads right in, and then you clip this part. The female part goes in there. You first wanna make sure you have the same number on both sides, and then you wanna make sure that it lines up. I choose to put the male part on the top of the ear because sometimes when you put the nub, the female part on the top of the ear, um, that sticks out more. This is flatter, so it's a little bit less of a chance for them to rip it out. So if you wanna get close here, Birdie, when you're doing the ear, these, these ears are still pretty small, but they have this one main vein in the middle you wanna avoid. I always go on the top and kind of towards the inside so that the, you don't want it out here because they're more likely to catch it and uh, pull it. So you wanna do this as quickly and painlessly as possible. He was cooperating for a second. <laughs> You want to just feel and make sure that you got it not on the vein. Clamp quick, release, and he's all done. So that's it. Now we're doing the uh, goat ear tags. It's same process. You want to make sure that you have the correct number on both sides. And I still do the same thing where I want this to be on the top or outside of the ear and this on the inside. They're gonna make noise because the goats are just noisy when you hold them. They don't like to be resta restrained, but it's as quick and as painless as I can do it, and it's man it's mandated by the law, so I have to do it, unfortunately. So these guys don't rump like the sheep do, but you just hold their head steady, avoid that middle vein, and get it done. And that's it. She's got her new earring. I put it right in the middle so it's less likely to get caught on anything, hopefully. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.